Hello everybody, I'm Nicolas Gamer, and this is episode 14 of Modded Minecraft. So, uh, I am not actually, uh, cheating or flying, I'm in my suit. If you actually, uh, hold space and shift, uh, instead of having a parachute and my boots, it just cancels it out, so I'm just floating there. So yeah, no cheating. Anyway, I was busy, I was actually really busy for once, um, so I was AFK on a server, and... Something came and destroyed my like whole entire like feel like right here. This was destroyed part of my uh, uh, furnace was destroyed smeltery. Uh, all of these were destroyed. All part of my house destroyed. Luckily, nothing major got destroyed, so I didn't have to fix anything. But yeah, you can probably see like there's a hole right there, and uh, there's some other holes like right here. I don't know. That might have been there, but I'm pretty sure it hasn't. So anyway, we I said we we're going to do a new mod uh, th today, but I'm, I'm not... Oh yeah, I just realized I'm uh, missing some torches. I'll fix that later. Um, I'm not really... I was going to do uh, Blood Magic, but I'm not really comfortable with that mod just yet. I'm still kind of learning about it. So we're going to go ahead and continue with Thumbcraft. And I've actually been pretty busy. As you can see, I actually made a new wand. It's uh, a silver wood with... Uh, uh, Thumbcraft, a thumb, uh, th a thun thunium, a uh, wand caps. Uh, I actually did a lot of research, so uh, this whole page is unlocked, this whole page is unlocked, um, this whole page is unlocked. Oh, come on. Uh, this whole page should be unlocked. Yes. And, uh, this whole page should be unlocked. Now I haven't uh, actually continued with anything else, because I actually, well, since I unlocked all that stuff, I want to use some of them. So what I did is actually, I cleared a uh, space for something special. Uh, I also made this golem here, which uh, he basically will, uh, once the aspect is smelted like this, so let's say the coal, it has potential and fire, uh, so he'll basically just collect it and just put it in the jars. Uh, so that's nice. I didn't really show him on camera because, uh, he's kind of simple to make, and, I mean, you just set him down and he goes to work. He's also upgraded, uh, so he's a little faster. Well, anyway, so what we're making is something very special. Let's go ahead and, uh, see what I decide to make. Oh, am I missing something? There it goes. Still got a little lag. Oh, you know what? I forgot to refill my wand. I was going to do it before the episode, and I forgot to do it. Dang, that's okay. So, what could I be making? It's uh, just sucked in some magic, sucked in some... Our... Uh, I can't really pronounce... I'm terrible at pronouncing things, I'm sorry. Alright, so now it's uh, sucking in all of my materials. And we got one recharge uh, pedestal. So I'm going to go ahead and put it right in the middle. Uh, right there. The 9x9. Nine nine. <laughs> uh, and what I do is I put my wand and I can actually transfer uh, my node and nodes around uh, the world. And I can place them down back here. And I can place my wand and it'll recharge. So that's what I'm going to do. So what we need to do for this, it's called a node in a jar. Um, I'm pretty sure it's in here. Should be. Maybe not. Uh, this is... No, oh, node in a jar. So it's glass. And uh, then... Uh, Glass again, but hollow middle, glass again, and then you put down slabs on top. So we're going to need a bunch of glass, so nine. Oh, and uh, before we, so let me go ahead and explain things. So basically, this wall is my personal machines. Uh, like let's say I need something pulverized, I'll just put it in here and get pulverized. Uh, for some reason I have sand. That's right, I was pulverizing uh, sandstone. And then I can also have my furnace, I am also made a metal... Urgic infuser to upgrade my cables. Uh, everything else is the same. 
uh, went ahead and made the 4K storage and another 1K storage. I just put some more barrels right here, and later on we're going to actually connect them. And I'll show you how to make that. Uh, and on this side of the wall, it's basically my automated um, things. So eventually, well, right now I'm having a quarry run, and once it um, finishes, I'm going to go ahead and put all this stuff in here that can be uh, pulverized. And then it's going to go ahead and smelt, and it's going to be put in this chest, and actually... I'm smelting some uh, stone, and what it's doing is it's smelting, it's putting in this chest, and then you can see this little, uh, I guess, uh, I don't know what you call it, it's it's a bus, basically, it's an import bus, and it actually takes it to my uh, ME, AE system, uh, and this furnace is for, like, um, stuff that aren't able to be pulverized. Or if I just want to smelt, like, large stacks of things. I just put a bunch of cobblestone so I can have some stone. And I'm going to do the same thing with glass. So, yeah, I have my quarry running. Uh, so, now, where were we? I was, uh, what was I doing? Oh, that's right, I was getting some glass. So, we need glass. Uh, we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then we need... Eight, and then we need nine more. So altogether, you need twenty-six glass, and then you need nine wood slabs or any slabs. Uh, let's go ahead and get some. Let's go ahead and make them the same kind. I don't know if they can be different. They probably can, but to be on the safe side. And now, of course, um, once you do make a barrel around it, you need to have aspects of seventy each. So you need to have 70 fire, 70 uh, air, 70 earth, 70 water, order, chaos. And uh, that's why I have this wand. But as you can see, I don't have quite enough order or chaos. So I'm going to go over Terra. So I'm going to be right back and I'm going to refill it. All right, I am back. Unfortunately, I couldn't find much chaos. Like I'm always having trouble finding chaos. I don't know why. But that's okay, uh, we have just enough, uh, we have 78, so I'll have 8 left over. Now, I actually went ahead and marked off a couple of nodes. I found order, air, earth, water, fire, and everything except chaos, which kind of made me mad. I don't know why it's so difficult to find it, but yeah. So, I'm going to go ahead and teleport to my order one, because that's the highest uh, node that I found. And it has 97. Now, how this works is the brighter, the better. Um, and actually, can I see this for a second? Alright, so you can see like a little... Um, you have your aurora node, and then below that says normal. You want to keep them normal. Uh, you don't want to have unstable ones. I, I Honestly, I really don't know what it means. All I know is you want it to be normal. Uh, let's see. So it's right here. I didn't bring any extra glass, so I don't want to waste it. So yeah, we just basically make a jar. And uh, nine by nine, I mean three by three. Nine by nine is kind of a lot. All right. Ooh, it didn't screw up. Okay, cool. So, uh, as every other uh, object, uh, you basically take a wand, and then you right-click on it. Now, you want to be careful. You do not want to have your wand out, because if you click on it again, it unboxes it. So, just go ahead and uh, break it with your hand, and pick it up. Now, let's go ahead and uh, take it back home. Go ahead and go down to our other room. Oh, come on. And uh, let's go ahead and put it, it uh, doesn't matter, how, it can be too far, but I mean, it doesn't matter how close it is either. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, leave a little bit of space, I'm going to put it right here. Now you just take your wand and you right click on it again. And there we go. So I can just put my wand right in here and it's just going to recharge. So uh, this is uh, 90, so it's going to uh, fully recharge it, but let's say I drain it down to zero. I can leave my wand overnight, and by the time uh, I come back, it'll have um, it'll have everything in there. Because this will recharge, uh, and the wand won't need it anymore. <laughs> Alright, so now that we have one of those, I'm probably going to go ahead and... Uh, well, now I can get rid of this waypoint. 
and they're uh, pretty big. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead uh, off camera, probably uh, after the recording, uh, find more of those nodes and just bring them back here. But now let's go ahead and do something else. So I think we're actually done with uh, magic for now. Oh yes, there's one more thing I wanted to show you. So I also made another uh, focus, uh, and this is the nine hells. So let's see, is it nighttime? Ooh, it is perfect. All right, cool, cool. Let's go ahead and go out in the desert, try to find a creature. Shouldn't be too hard. Want to make sure it is not okay. It is dark. Wow, I'm kind of surprised there's nothing around me. There's always stuff in the nether, uh, nether uh, in the desert. Really? Nothing? Alright, well, uh, I guess I can just uh, cast it. Oh, I can't. Never mind, I lied. Oh, uh, and I got stuck in quicksand. Isn't that just wonderful? Well, that's okay. Well, maybe once I find it. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, go back to Tinker's Construct. And I want to make myself a pick. Because this is getting a little tiring, uh, it's not as good as what I'm about to make. There's a couple of different things I could make, um, different uh, materials I could use. So let's go ahead and uh, smelting, I think that's the one I want to read. No, it is not. <laughs> um, materials and new volume 2, yes, okay. So pick, uh, you need a pick, axe head, uh, a tool rod and a tool binding, um, and then there's a couple of materials I could use. So I could use uh, stone, iron, flint, cactus, uh, bone, obsidian, alamite, netherrack, blue slime, green slime, and uh, cobalt, erudite, uh, magnesium. Wow, uh, copper. Bronze, steel, or pig iron. Now, the best one for mining, um, it's cobalt, because it has mining speed of 14. Uh, I think it's the fastest. It says 4. Oh, and wood. I forgot about wood. They can use wood, too. Yes, cobalt has a mining speed of 14, and it can be found in the nether. Now, unfortunately, I can't mine it. The uh, only pig that can mine it... Uh, the weakest pick, I should say, that could mine it is Alamite. And, um, yeah, see, mining level Cobalt. Now, Alamite, uh, I'm pretty sure now I need this book. So, how you get Alamite is it's made from five aluminum, two iron, and two obsidian. So, I should have aluminum, uh, five aluminum, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, then we need two obsidian. I almost spelled obs two obsidian, like two. Two obsidian, and what was the other one? Pretty sure it's iron. Iron, iron, iron. Yes, two iron. Iron. So as this smelts, we go ahead. We can go ahead and uh, make. Let's see, I'm pretty sure I don't have the right. Okay, so we need to make uh what's it called? A pick a pick head, a tool bonding, and uh a rod. So what we need is wood. Uh do I have any sticks? I hope I do. Sticks, okay. We make the those blank patterns again. Or yeah, blank patterns. And we can put them in here. So we need pick head. Just right here. Um, tool bonding. And a rod. Where are you? Tough rod. No, we need... Oh, here it is. The first one. And then we also need to get some cobblestone. To make the outline. Oh, we need to get some gold. So we need one, two, three, gold. Yeah, put that in. Uh... As well, grab the cobblestone too. Oh, I was getting nighttime too. 
Obsidian smelts kind of slowly. Uh, so we need. No, not that one. Need a pick head. And clicking all over here. <laughs> um, binding. And then uh, you can see it left this little shard because it only needed a point five. So we can actually use this to make a rod because it also is at point five. And you're not wasting cobblestone. Not like I really need to uh, keep cobblestone, honestly. But you, know, you never know. Did we get any creatures? No, we did not. Wow, I'm really surprised. Alright, so let's go ahead and set this down here. And here, uh, is this almost done? Alamite. Okay, we got three alamite and we got three gold. Perfect. So we're gonna need to go ahead and cast it first. Um, get this. Is that not enough gold? Really? Oh, it takes two gold. Okay, I need three more gold. I always, yeah, I always mix this up. Nope, not down here. Three gold. And so we have uh, two alumnite and two obsidian. I don't know why I give us that two obsidian by back. No, we don't need obsidian anymore. Well, at least now you know how to make obsidian ingots. <laughs> there's one. Oops. And there's another one. Well, technically, I didn't actually make the most important part, but all we really need is a pick, um, head, pick head uh, for this. Uh, Alamite. So we can use this for this. Looks a little, it looks pink. Well, it is pink. That doesn't look pink. How's our gold going? Okay, it's almost finished. And done. It looks at the bottom. Cast this, and then finish, finishing casting that. Go ahead and pick that up. And go ahead and cast this. Pick that up, and I should have one uh, Illuminite left. There we go. Now we can put it together. Now this pick isn't very useful. I mean, it's li it, literally all I'm going to use it for is um, to get some cobalt, and that's it, really. Probably it's actually better than this uh, diamond uh, Zane, which uh, well, technically the Zane's a little better since it's one in everything, except the sword. Not a sword. Or is it? Uh, five damage, so kind of. Alright, I can go ahead and uh, throw this away. Uh, and let's go ahead and go to the nether. After I deposit this. Also, what this chest could technically be is my depositing thing. So if I didn't, if I was actually that lazy, I could just put it right in here. And then we just take it um, over to that thing. So I could have maybe like a chest like right here. Um, so when I come home and I want to deposit stuff, I could. Now, in the nether, you can also find some uh, nodes, and I'm pretty sure uh, nodes also vary on the biome. So, nether, I mean, of course, you're probably going to find uh, f a lot of fire nodes, but so it is a little chaos in here. There might be a possibility of finding uh, a chaos node. Now, I'm trying to find some cobalt so I can show you how it looks like. I only need uh, three pieces. No. One, two pieces. Because uh, the ore will give you one piece. It's blue. I think this is it. Not lapis. Is this it? Yep, there's cobalt ore. And we just need two. Hopefully there's two. Sometimes mine around it. Because uh, cobalt is usually in a vein of two. I guess not this time. So this will give us two cobalt, uh, and we need, no, we need only two, that's right, because our uh, pick is one, okay. So we're technically done here. 
All right. Well, that's all we came for. Uh, portal. Yeah, because once we smelt it, it doubles my, doubles, uh, my ore. And uh, what is this? Lapis, I'm guessing. But whenever you're in a nether, it's always nice to pick up some extra cobalt. Uh, you know, you always need to repair the pick. And back home. Oh, come on. There we go. Alright, so... Cobalt in here. Let's go ahead and get out our... Axe head. Now, there's actually a couple things we might want to do different, so... Let's take a look at the book. Which I have in my inventory. Now, the axe head, I mean the pick head, is the thing that counts. So, let's say that... I... I can put the pick's head, I'll still keep the uh, 14. And what I could also do is, maybe I could make... Let's see. I could make the bonding out of... Oh, where is it? Paper, which gives me an extra modifier. And then I could make the rod out of uh, blue slime because it's got good durability. I, I think it has one of, the, one of the best durability other than uh, this one. So what we're, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and, so to make paper stacks, we need four pieces of paper. And we can just collect some sugar canes. And then we can use uh, this table. Why not? It's right here. And then we can make a paper stack. Let's go ahead and put this in here. Oh, I had some paper in there. And now what we could do is uh, put this in a part builder. And then take this and I can actually make oh wow okay so I only need a two pieces of paper technically and we have our bonding uh, now this will give me an extra modifier so I don't have to spend my uh, additional modifiers that I could be using for something else and what we want now is to get some blue slime now there's a couple ways of getting uh, blue slime one of them is uh, you can go and kill a blue slime Another one is, see that island right there? Uh, there's usually blue slime uh, blocks up there. Uh, so, I shouldn't have any problem. Oh, there's actually a king slime up there. Alright. So, he'll definitely drop blue slime. Oh, he's right there. Well, let's check, uh, let's check the island first. Oh. Oh, there's another one. Wow. Purple slime. Oh, I didn't know they had purple slime. Oh, so we're going to be killing this uh, slime. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, not cool. Last death. Oh, man. How am I going to kill him? I don't have any... I don't have anything to kill him now. Uh, sword. I need to make a sword. Um, Looks like I'm making a sword. Let's make a diamond sword. I got a diamond stick. Oh man, I really wish I didn't throw in my armor now. I threw in my diamond armor. Well, that was a mistake. I'm never going to make again. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, teleport. Let's knock him over, knock him over. There we go. I like to get my stuff back. Alright, got my stuff back. Put my armor back on. Yeah, this armor is just, uh, that was kind of a waste of, uh, two diamonds, but that's okay. I also don't know what these exactly are. I found them. Let's check this. Uh, slimy blue leaves. Nope, that's not giving me anything. All right. Looks like we're killing him. All right, where are you? He probably took some fall damage. Oh yeah, he's almost dead. 15, two hits, two hits. One, two, boom. 
All right, and he has his uh, baby slimes. Come on. And he drops some pants. Blue slime everywhere. All right, this is plenty enough. All right, so now that we have that, don't need the pants. Slime, don't need that. I'll keep this. Definitely keeping this. I have to rearrange my inventory. I usually like to stay organized. All right, I can go back home. And home. So now that that's over, uh, the cobalt should have probably melted by now. Yes, we have two cobalt, so let's kind of make the pick head. And now what we could do is we can take the blue slime and make the rod, which is right here. Or do I need it? I think I need to make it into a block. No? How do I make a... Get the book out. So, tool rod. How to make tool rods. Nope. Oh, wait. That, I think I need to make a... Crystal, maybe? No, I shouldn't have to. Alright, so where are you? Yes, yeah, slimy crystal. Okay, so I forgot to make... Okay, so what I need to do is... Combine the slime and then put a sand and a... Alright. Sand and one dirt. So, sand. Not sandstone. One sand. One dirt. Good thing I got extra slime. I should be able to convert this back to, yeah. And now in the crafting recipe, table, I can put this and this, and now we have to smelt this together. And I have my personal furnace. We got the crystal. And now I can make it. All right. It's right here, and now, there we go. So I have the tool rod, and I also have the shard for whenever, we, I, for whenever. And now let's put it all together. This one right here, this one right here, and this one right here. So we have uh, a pick. We have four modifiers, mining speed 14, mining level uh, cobalt. Uh, also, it is reinforced because of the uh, slimy uh tool rod and this one gives us an extra modifier so i should probably name it now nah, just <laughs> I, I can't really think of a good name right now so honestly this pick right now is useless maybe i don't know if i can smelt it and again i don't really need uh maybe if i could if i repair it i could smelt it right now it can go on the tool rack Okay, so now that we have this, I can go ahead and put upgrades on it. So let's see what kind of upgrades I could have. Let's see. So I'm at the end of the book. Oh wait, no, that's an extra. No, no, that's right, that's right. So what the diamond does, uh, diamond uh, basically gives you plus 500 durability. Also it increases to level three. An emerald uh, does 50% more durability. Uh, redstone speeds up mining. Uh, moss basically auto repairs it. Uh, this is an auto smelter, which I love to have on my pick. Once I actually put something on, um, lapis gives you a fortune. Uh, this is for a sword. Uh, silky uh, allows blocks to be harvested. Uh, so it's basically silk touch. Uh, this is reinforcement, which uh, basically gives you more durability. And uh, this is uh, so instead of uh, using cobalt to repair it, you would basically use uh, just charge it up. And uh, this is extra on modifiers. They're all single use. So right now I have four modifiers. If I were to put a gold block and a diamond, I would have five modifiers. And I can use a gold apple and a diamond block, which gives me uh, six modifiers. And the last one is a nether star, which is seven modifiers in total. And this is creative, which I can't get, unfortunately. So a great one to put on is actually fortune, which is lapis. 
So we got a bunch of lapis. And the max you can put on is 420 or 450, sorry, 450. I usually make it into blocks, so that's it. it makes the process go by faster. And I might not have enough because unfortunately, Kant had to borrow some for his pick, and I gave him some. Well, actually, we traded, but that's why I have a quarry running. Yeah, it's 450. So we just put it in here, right here, and we can just stack on. So yeah, 450, and just keep putting it on. I'm surprised I haven't found any creatures. To oh, wait, I did find some creatures. Alright, so we have 270 left. And right now we have uh, Fortune, or Luck, I should say, 1. And once it's fully upgraded, it'll have a better... Uh, uh, there it is on the bottom. It has fortune one. Once it's fully upgraded, and you, oh, you can only do it once with uh, redstone. You can just keep doing it. So with redstone, I could actually have. Let's go ahead and uh, make five blocks, and take five redstone. With redstone, you can uh, increase your speed. So it was 14. And now it's actually 18. And I could actually put on more redstone, but I would uh, use one of my modifiers. So uh, probably later down the line, I'm going to finish upgrading um, the fortune. I'm probably going to put on an auto smelter on there. I may or may not put an um, auto repair on it too. I'm also going to go ahead and get a whole bunch of nodes around that pedestal. And uh, I really want to try to do another mod. I'm not sure if uh, what else I might come back to. I might make a, a sword for myself and a shovel from Tinker's Construct because they're great tools. But in any case, uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Make sure you give me a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.